Good morning from our Airbnb in Thailand. Today, I'm counting everything we own. As full-time travelers, we seemingly have very few things. and everything we own can actually fit into two suitcases and two backpacks. After watching Matt Diavella's video, um, I would be lying if I said it didn't cause an insane amount of anxiety. Oh my God, it's just so overwhelming. I became curious as to just how many things we own as a couple of full-time travelers. I think it'll be fun to start out with some voting and guesses to see how wrong we are. I'm super excited. I think you're gonna be so wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna be wrong? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. I mean, I would believe it because honestly, Alicia does all of our packing. So I'm kind of oblivious to what we actually have. <laughs> so this is kind of like guessing the jelly beans in the jar game. We're gonna guess on five different things. First up, we're gonna guess who has more things, me or you. Ready? One, two, three. What'd you put? I put hers. Me I, too. Did you really? I did. Oh. I really think I have more stuff. What do you think the largest category is going to be? We have five categories. Clothing and accessories, toiletries, recreation, which is like anything fun, books, journals, stuff like that. Baggage and containers, including all of our packing cubes and any other container that something goes in. And lastly is electronics. So what category do you think is going to be the largest number of items? One, two. I put electronics. Hers, oh, her clothing is gonna be the largest percent. No, 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 I think clothing is going to be the largest percent. Okay, and mine is gonna have more. But I blame you. Oh. Next, we're going to see if we have more personal items or business items. We have quite a bit of like electronics that we use for the business. One, two, three. I put the business. And the differentiating factor, I believe, will be all of our cords. Two more. Since we travel full time and we actually have to carry all of this stuff with us, I thought it'd be fun to guess and see what the total weight of everything that we own is. The tens to the 10th decimal place. One to the right. Three. 127.7 pounds. Mm, I put 139.3 pounds. Final category is how many things do you think we have? I have no, like literally no idea. <laughs> Numbers are so different. Are they really? Yeah, I saw you. Two, three. 1,245 things. 1,245 things? Guess in the comments who you think is closer. We'll see. Before we started traveling, we sold everything we own in our apartment. And now everything we have fits into two suitcases. These awesome Thule rolling duffel bags that are indestructible. They have been through quite the beatings at airports all around the world and they still look brand spanking new. We already kind of unpacked at this place. So I'm just gonna throw everything into a pile and start from there. things I wanted to be clear about before we get started is one, I am making an Excel spreadsheet. If you're interested in counting everything you own, let me know. Happy to share it. Two is the way I'm counting stuff. Something like this, even though it has 100 capsules inside, 200 tablets inside. Just counting it as one thing. Same thing with the deck of cards. If you can purchase it as one thing, it just counts as one thing. But Nate does buy a lot of bulk, so... Plan of attack, I think I'm gonna separate everything into categories first and then count each category at a time and maybe separate what I've already counted from what I still need to count. Okay. I think I got just about everything generally in this room. Separate into recreation, clothes, toiletries, baggage over there. All the electronic stuff I'm gonna do after since that's all separated for the most part from our main suitcase. I think I'm gonna start with clothes because that's just the largest pile and it's on the bed. Official counting, folding, reorganizing begins now. Organizing, that's like my favorite word.
wandered backpacks are seriously the best camera backpacks and we have tried a lot. They hold our 16 inch laptops, which is a huge plus and all of our camera gear of which I'm about to count and we have a lot. <laughs> Today is day two of this counting extravaganza, which I pretty much finished last night a lot quicker than I thought I was going to, but I still have to weigh everything because I'm just curious as to how much we physically carry with us everywhere we go. Babe, did you know our bag weighs nine pounds? Really? Yeah. I don't know if that's a lot. I don't know if other suitcases weigh more or less. All right, time to weigh recreation. Counting your stuff can kind of just feel like you have an arbitrary number. Is a hundred a lot of things? A thousand? A hundred thousand? Well, according to a professional organizer from the LA area, she claims that the average American household owns up to 300,000 things in their house. We obviously don't have quite that many, but with the minimalist movement in full force all around the world now, there is a large goal to get down to just 100 things, which we have already surpassed, I'm sure, even just in this pile. So gives you kind of a relative view. We're over 100, definitely under 300,000, and according to our guesses, somewhere in the range of 400 to 1,200. Are you coming to help me? No. <laughs> Takes a log. 34.3. Thank you. Welcome. As I was counting everything, I realized that we have a couple of weird things that we travel full time with and carry everywhere with us that I'm sure a lot of other people don't. First weirdest thing that we travel with is towels slash blankets. And I think some backpackers do, but we don't have one or two. Two, we have four full-size towels and four hand towel sized ones. It takes up a lot of room, but they come in very handy, especially these ones. These are like blankets that I get to use anywhere and everywhere. Second weirdest thing that we travel with is a foam roller. Straight up foam roller, except this one. I don't know how to work it, obviously. Except this one collapses. It's still quite large, but it does wonders. Third thing, we both have our own snorkel and mask along with a handy little carrying case. This is our newest addition for Nate's birthday. He got a new travel size massage gun, complete with all the different heads. A photo printer with photo paper for my journaling, a yoga mat, and a full haircut kit so we can cut Nate's hair. I want you guys to guess how many items you think we own total that we carry with us all the time as full-time travelers. And this is for both you and Nate combined. Yeah, and all of our business and personal, like everything that's in our two suitcases and two backpacks. I mean, you saw it all on the boat. It was, it's a lot. I'm gonna guess 347. 796. Oh, you're kind of close. What? We own, drum roll please. It's official. I am done counting everything we own, done weighing everything we own, and the categories are all separated. It took forever. I'm excited because I did pretty well on my guesses. You don't think I did well? For the final number, how many things do we own as full-time travelers where we carry everything we own? Everything. But everything we own on our person everywhere around the world. As a reminder, hold on, I guess. Oh, okay. As a reminder, I guess 1,245 things. 427. Drum roll, please. 653. <laughs> I win. 
lower by a lot. 653? Yeah. Wow. I was off by 200. It's a lot more than I thought. Because wasn't the average household like a thousand? No. Oh. 300,000. 300,000? Wow, I based my numbers off of a thousand. <laughs> 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 That's why I went with like below 500, but 300,000, I probably would have went a little higher. So we're gonna go back over what we guessed at the beginning of the week, I guess now it's been that long. <laughs> and then go over what the actual numbers were and be surprised by how much we owned. <laughs> All right, first question we asked was who owns more stuff, him or me? I actually both guessed her. I own 188 things and Nate owns 175 things. That's close. Are you counting after you dumped stuff? Yes. Yeah. I got rid of some stuff. Yeah. Together we own 271 things, which is the vast majority of everything we own. Next, we guess which category was the most. We had five different categories, including clothing, electronics, bags, toiletries, and recreation which recreation just ended up being like odds and ends kind of things. I guessed electronics. This was an easy guess for me. I guessed Alicia's clothing. So he was kind of right. Clothing was our number one category with 171 things. And a very close second, tied for second actually, was toiletries and electronics at 160. And as far as his and her clothing, I actually won that one. Nate owns more clothes than me. 83 things and I own 80. She's proud, but there is a little asterisk here. I run a lot and when you're in temperatures of like 90 to 100 degrees sometimes, you go through a lot of socks. I also have a lot of underwear, but that's probably too much for this video. <laughs> it makes sense. It does. I'm just proud because I have a shopping problem. We have a one in, one out rule. Anytime we buy something. We throw something in mine away. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing to have when you have a weight limit and limited space. Speaking of weight, we both guessed what our total weight was since we have to carry everything. And I guessed 139.3. I got 127.7. We were both actually way under. Our total weight is 170.2 pounds. Which basically means our backpacks weigh like 35 pounds each. I yeah. think we're gonna need some really big chiropractic care one day. We also guessed which was more our business things or our personal things. I guess personal. I guess business. And I thought the chords were gonna play a much bigger factor than they ended up playing. We actually have way more personal stuff than business stuff, a ratio of three to one actually. Really? Yeah. And it's just because clothes and toiletries are our top two categories mm -hmm. and that's all personal stuff, so. Okay. Now that I've spent the last three days counting everything and going over all the numbers, am I surprised by any of this? And yes, I'm surprised by a lot of it. I'm surprised that I actually own more things than Nate and I want to attribute that just to my makeup, but I've since gone through my makeup and got rid of the stuff that I don't always use and I still have more stuff. You see, Nate has a little bit of a problem with buying in bulk. He likes the value for the amount of stuff that you get. The more you buy, the less each thing is. And I honestly thought his bulk buying problem was the majority of the problem with fitting everything into the suitcase. And even though it's the most number of things in toiletries, it does weigh the least amount. Second, my problem is that I love to shop. I love getting new clothes, new makeup. I just love buying new things. And I thought that I would actually have more clothes and accessories than Nate does, but we're actually very, very even in that regard. And the last thing that kind of surprised me was how much all of our electronics weigh. We have all these electronics mostly for work and there's not really a lot that we can see ourselves getting rid of because we use almost everything we have. We've really narrowed it down over the last couple of years, but it still weighs almost 50 pounds and that has to go on our backs and our carry-ons to go on the plane with us. So I don't really know how to make that go down and not have a bad back every time we fly somewhere new. <laughs> 
If you are still around this late in the video, thank you. And if you're interested in seeing where we are real time, be sure to subscribe to our weekly newsletter where I send out a travel tip Tuesday and give updates on what we're actually doing when we're doing it. She does an amazing job with it. It's like my favorite thing to do on Tuesdays. So <laughs> please subscribe to it. <laughs> do you think we should do total items first or last? Can you not open the shark? <laughs> <laughs> All right, got it. Also, this is the first time I've washed my new hair. and It's a little crazy, but it is what it is. Surprisingly, I didn't think about these before we did this. <laughs> Even though I wrote the questions. <laughs> you did write them. Um... Oh no, the battery's gonna die. Bag it. I'm just gonna list all of them again. <laughs> bah. I'm gonna list them all again. Okay. Alright, this one's oh, wow. I literally think I just stabbed myself with a post-it. That's really embarrassing. You're gonna have to like stand past the I know, I'm just gonna get out of here completely. <laughs>